So after I installed Android 10, I found it quite boring. I mean, there is no features, no customization, not even a theme engine. So I went back to Havoc OS 2.9. So Havoc OS is an Android custom ROM and it is available for almost all the Android phones. In this video, we'll be looking at features, performance and battery life of Havoc OS. And at the end of this video, I will show you how to install it. So let's get started. So first of all have a look at this quick setting panel, I mean it looks crazy. Not only you can change accent colors, you can even change the shape of tiles. You can make your phone completely personal. Also the amount of tiles you have, I mean you don't need to go anywhere else for quick shortcut. There is screen recorder here, a dedicated gaming mode for which I will make a separate video. Then we have CPU info, when you tap on that, you will see CPU core overlay. We have calculator. Then next we have screen stabilizer. It will help you when you are in bus or you are moving. It uses all the sensors and stabilize the screen. Then we have sound recorder can be useful sometimes. So there are plenty of other shortcuts if you want you can add them. Also you can make your quick setting completely transparent if you want. And then we have status bar customization. As you can see I have network traffic indicators on my status bar where I can actively monitor my data and instead of battery icon I chose to keep only battery percentage. Now for battery bar I have this notch on my Redmi Note 7 Pro so I kept battery bar on the top of navigation bar. With this I can constantly keep an eye on battery. If your phone doesn't have notch you can keep this on your status bar too. Then let's move ahead and customize the navigation bar. You can replace it with fling bar where you can swipe right or left and assign a custom action. I prefer this over the latest Android 10 navigation system. Moving ahead we have three finger screenshot. You just need to swipe down your three fingers and you can take screenshot. Pretty helpful. Also you can completely customize the lock screen. For example I kept two apps on my lock screen as a shortcut. They are also not in the bottom, I kept them in the center. But you can still put another two apps in the bottom if you want. And if you're like me and if you don't like the Android 10 recent menu, you can switch to slim recent menu. And the reason I prefer this slim recent because I can see all my background apps on the single screen. I don't need to swipe right or left or up and down just to have a look which apps are running in the background. So apart from these, there are hundreds of other features in this room. For example, you can customize your animation and then in the battery saving mode, you have wake lock blocker. By using this, you can increase your battery life. So guys, I have been using this room for last two days and the experience has been amazing. Like no air force close, no random reboot. I can play PUBG easily. There is no problems. And for people asking if the Volt is working or not, the Volt is working perfectly well in this room. So now let's talk about the main thing, the battery life. The battery life in this room is amazing. On my stock MIUI, I used to get around 8 hours of screen on time on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. But with Havoc OS 2.9, I got almost 9.5 hours of screen on time and that's amazing. This room is using a custom kernel called Pixel Plus and that's the reason for this amazing battery life. So all in all this room is designed for power users. If you think you are a power user then you should install this room. So guys Havoc OS is available for plenty of Android devices and there is GSI version also. GSI means generic system image. It means you can install it on any Android phone as long as it's treble supported. And how to install this room video will be in description box so you can watch that and install this room on your phone. And guys please like the video it really helps the channel. And I will see you tomorrow.